we don't see any human being, but it speaks to war. It speaks to the monstrosity of war. It is inhuman. It is unthinkable, like this destruction. Every human is obscured in this image. And what's in the foreground of the image, that's the mech. It's, it's, it's encroaching on humanity. Armored Core 6. I've been looking forward to this because you told me after I enjoyed the launch trailer that this story trailer really had some juice to it and I should I should really check it out and unpack the story that lies within. So let's do that and make sure to check out a lot of the other videos I've done on this channel, including that story trailer. Let me know if I should stream Armored Core 6 because I love Elden Ring, I love Dark Souls, and it seems like it might be a good idea. From software. Legendary. You Ooh. Again. You again. No, I'm not exactly craving company here. I like this. It almost looks like alien. Like some foreign creature. The mech parts. It's really evocative. Look at the drained aesthetic. It's completely bereft of color and life. It's so appropriate. Man, look at the visuals. So what happened to 617 oh. A little mystery here. What happened? I love it. Oh my god, look at these builds. I gotta hear about everybody's build, by the way. Oh my god, is that is that a person? Whoa. Just absolute annihilation. I love how they look like foreign creatures. Like, they don't look like human beings. We'll talk more about that later. Beautiful coloration. As in, the colors are so drained here, they're so dilapidated that those oranges and those blues of just the intensity of the warfare and the destruction, it makes it look so vivid and so destructive because of that. There's nothing else but destruction in this world. That's what it tells me. Man. And what is that? So this is, this is insane, like, look at this. This is a human being. But what I like about it is we don't see any human beings. We're hearing one right now, but it speaks to war. It speaks to the monstrosity of war. It is inhuman. It is unthinkable, like this destruction, this, this horrible, horrible violence. And I think it's a really interesting message that you don't see any human beings, but the outline of a person. And it's like they're salvaging this human being like, like he's a part on the battlefield, you know? It's not like he's actually a, a human being. It's like he's just a, another mech to be used. And it sounds like he's like, this one's functional. It's like a part. Oh man, that, what, a, what a view. It really puts you in the action with that FPS view. Look at the scale here of the different mechs. Oh my goodness. Is that what happened? That might have been what happened to that person who was injured. And I assume that's the player character. Wow. Another thing I like about this is none of the mechs look new. They look beat up. They look like they've been through hell. And they just look like completely ruined. You know, even though these sophisticated machines, they just look completely wrecked. Uh, like they've been through war, you know, so it's really nice to see that. And like, it's so cool that they're, you know, they're using this sort of ambient light, diffused light from the sky here on the top of the mech with this just flickering light of, of, of violence, right? It's fire that they've, that they've created from their destruction. And it's really, really cool image. You have this, you know, focal point being this just pure dark red, blood red light which is like some sort of scanner or, you know, eye on this foreign alien creature. But it really evokes, uh, it reminds me of Alien, the original film. You have this, just this, this monstrous looking things. They're so not human, the faces. And that's what's interesting about Armored Core. You have stuff like Gundam, which has a human face, you know, like a samurai helmet, uh, that which, which evokes a human face. This just looks completely alien, like, like some creature from another world. And I think it's very effective uh, for that reason, at just feeling detached. Oof. Oh, 
the sound design right there to cut out and hear just this vague sound from a safe distance was really, really cool choice there. Is that like acupuncture? Trying to bring somebody back? Yeah, this is what happened to 617, right? And that's them. Notice we've still not seen a human body. We've just seen this vague outline. It looks like a mech. It really does. Wow. Mission complete. Mission complete. But at what cost? What an image. And this is, again, what I love about this is we're combining naturalistic elements like rain. We all know what rain feels like upon your skin. And then just completely unnatural, mechanical, robotic. And it's a really cool thing. You have this like modern concrete steel um, and just like a, the most primordial rain. And it just makes for such a cool imagery. We have fire, we have water, and just again, these inhuman monstrosities. Very uncomfortable feeling because of that. Very well done. Yep. Yep. See? A new mech. Oh, the music's ramping up like it's his heartbeat. Like he's coming back to life for another purpose. Ooh. Ooh. Fires of Rubicon. Oh, the music's fantastic on that. We get the soundtrack with that deluxe edition. Oh, I might have to do it. I might have to do it. But yeah, what a, what a powerful exit here. Um, again, uh, inhuman death of this this steel creature that looks like an alien. Um, and then we see once again, we don't see a human being. We see this, you know, plastic covered outline. And then it's like, ah, this true life is the battlefield is to exist within this body. You know, it's almost like he's just an organ. He's just an organ that's been harvested. He's going to be put back inside this. Uh, his only purpose is war. And what a, uh, oof, gives you chills, right? Very disturbing <laughs> idea. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's very well done. Like I said, the coloration, something I talked about in the other trailer, really pops here. Uh, that was a perfect example of it in that shot. As well as the lack of humanity. It's a fascinating aspect to have a story about pilots but we don't see those pilots. We just hear them and we see what they've become, right? Just these lifeless creatures. And uh, it's very unique in that you don't see a lot of stuff like, like, you know, Gundam, huge Gundam fan, love Gundam Wing growing up. It's about the pilots and you see them out of the suits probably more often than they're in the suits, right? With, with you know, how their story is going and how their lives are going. Um, it's a fascinating idea to take that out. As far as the shot selection, very well done. Um, I love that you have this sort of intimate shot here. Again, naturalistic elements like, you know, uh, diffused light, uh, you know, light streaming through the window with like dust and everything. But just this like, yeah, I've been brought back in like the most horrific way imaginable, put back together. Like my skull has been drilled back together here apparently and everything. <laughs> like it's, it's very, uh, it's very dark. Right, it's a very dark existence, and then again, just to be brought back for war is is intense idea. Shields and everything, and I'm curious, like how similar this is to the gameplay. Like, is it really that fast and that intense? I feel like it has to be if it's made by you know FromSoft. But yeah, that's the closest thing we get to a human is this top-down view. Even this person who appears to be the doctor you see their coat, you see their hat. I don't see any hair. I don't see any natural human pieces. And over here we see a shadow. And this really is the, I think the best shot in the trailer for that. And what's in the foreground of the image, that's the mech, right? That's the mech, it's, it's, it's encroaching on humanity. Every human is obscured in this image, shadow, covering. Plastic, this unnatural plastic, uh, all these mechanical steel devices, and this is encroaching on the image. It's a beautifully composed image, great composition. You know, forgetting all of the meaning I just described, it's just a beautiful image. 
uh, with the shadow coming down on this kind of twisted angle, focusing on this light right on the covering the face of the person. Again, really well done. I also like how they, they make it so you can't really see what kind of person uh, uh, the pilot was. So you can kind of self insert into that character, right? So that's a really smart choice by the filmmaking, uh, for the filmmakers here as well, because you can insert yourself. It could be male, it could be female, it could be you, it could be absolutely anybody. And that's really cool to see. Don't expect much more. I'm not here to talk. Wake it up. And it's a, you know, it reminds you of old monster films. By the way, he said, wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. I mean, if that doesn't sum up everything I just described, right? Beautifully done. Um, I think it's very impressive, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. I want to hear what you guys think as well. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm crazy? Um, also, like I said, I'd like to hear about your builds, and let me know if I should stream more of this. And are there cutscenes in-game for this um, that I should react to beyond that? Other than that, guys, please make sure to subscribe if you want to join the community. Uh, follow on Twitch as well if you want to play games with me live. We can check out Armored Core. We're working on FF16 and uh, Ever Crisis and stuff like that. So, as always, it's a pleasure to get to enjoy these with you guys. Thanks for joining me and uh, spending a few minutes hanging out on the channel. Hope to have you again.